Hello, welcome to Bars and Bells in our Strength and Swings class. There, we'll get using our kettlebell in a couple of minutes, but first, get started with a body weight warm up. My name is Lauren. This is the Bars and Bells channel. Please like and subscribe to our videos, check out our website, and check out our Patreon. Maybe you'd like to support this lovely workout we're about to do. Let's get started with our body weight, and then we'll add our weight as we get going. Standing up tall. Feet underneath you, feet rooted in the floor, crown ahead pulled high, light core brace, cheek squeeze. Next, let's start with the chin. A light chin towards the chest, and then stacking the head back up and chin towards the ceiling. Repeat one more time, pulling the chin down, and then gently extending up towards the ceiling. Come back to center here and let's do our rotation. Shoulder looking over a head, sorry. Chin to a shoulder and then back to center and same the other thing the other way. We're lightly like, retracting those shoulder blades, keeping our chin the same level the whole time. And then back to center. With our arms at our side, let's gently shrug our shoulders and then pull them down. And then press the blades forward and retract the blades back. Come to the W position and repeat. Elevate the shoulders or shrug, pull down. Press the blades forward, retract them back. Extend out to a T and repeat. Shrug, pull down. Blades forward, blades retract. Bring your arms to the W, keep your elbows nice and straight. And by W, I mean Y. Shrug your shoulders and pull down. Blades forward. Blades retract back. One more time to warm up our overhead. Light shrug, pull down. Blades forward, blades retract. Let's pull the elbows down to the sides like we're doing a pull up and then gently extend on the elbows, returning the arms and relax. Step feet slightly wider, warming up our rotations for our, our get ups here. Hips stay forward, feet stay planted. Head and shoulders do a light rotation and then pull yourself back to center and repeat. Light rotation and return to center. One more time each way. Take your time, keep your chin in line with your sternum so your head is only rotating as far as that rib cage can go. And back to center. Give that a little shake. Let's do a nice forward fold and make our way to the floor to warm up our wrists. In our forward fold, we tuck, tuck our chins, roll ourselves forward, Try to keep those hips extended, meaning we're not pushing our hips back, but we're getting up and over to hang out here in this forward to fold. Take a breath, hmm. dangle, maybe bend your knees and then straighten them. And one more time, bending the knees and straightening. And then we'll slowly lower, walking ourselves down. Hands will find the floor. Right now, our hands are spread out nice and wide on the floor, fingertips open. Elbow pits, rotate forward. Keep those elbows nice and straight and your shoulders out of your ears. Next, for five in a row, elbows straight. Press through those first knuckles and then control the down. When we press up to those first knuckles, all four fingers on each hand are touching. The thumbs are going to hover just off the floor. Try that for two. Could you get your shoulders a little further forward over your wrists into some wrist extension? Last one, and then we'll flick the floor away and just give that a little shake out. I like to do a quarter turn of the hands, warming up for the get-ups. Fingertips face sideways as your palms come down or your elbows nice and straight. Then repeat those shrugs. Shoulders into ears, pull them down. Now can you pinch your shoulder blades together and then press the floor away? And one more time, ending in that light retraction. Push your right fingers into the floor. That will send you to the left. Then push your left fingers into the floor, sending you to the right. Again, we're having a little bit of that wrist extension as we get our shoulder towards over top of our fingertips. Last time, then come back to through center and try that first knuckle push up from here. So keep the elbows straight, palms press away. Palms press away. One more time, don't elevate the shoulders, palms press away, flick. Shake that out. Next, we'll warm up our lunges. So let's bring a leg in front. In today's class, we'll start with some get-ups and then get into, as well as some single leg squats. 
So warming up that get up lunge here, I have my back toe tucked underneath. If you don't like that, you can point your foot straight out behind you. Check in with your hips, hike that front hip, and then gently pull it down. Repeat one more time, hike the hip, and then pull it down. Next, tip the pelvis forward or tailbone towards the ceiling. Then keep that front leg reaching back as you scoop under that back hip or into posterior tip the hips, squeezing that butt cheek. What you should feel is that front leg driving down and pulling in and that back leg staying extended, feeling that length through the front of the hamstring. Let's keep that tension and just slowly drift forward knee towards over toe, stay square, stay level, and then press yourself back up to tall. Heel toe that leg open to the side and repeat. Tailbone tips to the ceiling and then gently scoops under. Side leg is pushing down and pulling in, back hip remains extended, light drift knee towards over toe. Once you get there, push out of that and just get to tall, 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 tall. Bring the foot to the front, underneath, same thing other side. Lunge position first. Hike the hip and then pull it down. Repeat, hike the hip, pull it down. Anterior tip of the hips or tailbone towards the ceiling and then light scoop under. One more time, anterior tip of the hips and then scoop under, squeezing that back butt cheek, driving down on the front leg and pulling in. Feel that tension pulling together for three, two, relax and stay. Heel toe the leg open to your 10 or two o'clock. Foot and knee are in the same line, hip is pressing forward. Keeping that level position, we're gonna drift knee towards over the toe. Back hip stays extended as we press through to tall. Let's do that one more time, it felt really good. Back hip extended and then press to tall. Heel toe that leg underneath, bring it under. Let's keep those toes tucked, rock back to our low squat, find those heels. Let's hang out here for a couple seconds. This will help our single leg squats. In our single leg squats, we need that ankle mobility. So we're trying to get our knees towards over our toes, keeping our chest lifted and then press to tall. Before we get into those single leg squats, let's grab a bell and start doing a get up. I'm going to choose my slightly lighter load for right now. And then I may get a little bit heavier as we go. We will be performing a half get up right now with some ups and downs along the way. We'll cuddle the bell, we'll press, we'll get to our elbow, back to the floor. Then we'll get to our elbow and our hand, back to the floor. Elbow hand sweep through, back to the floor, same thing on the other side. Follow along. Come on down, starting in that cuddle position. With or without your kettlebell, roll to your back and press. Getting set up is most important here, so we have that nice straight and strong wrist. Our foot is driving into the floor, other leg is heavy. We'll do our hip extension and pull to the elbow and hold for three, two, and then return to your back. Adding on, hip extension to the elbow first, and then find your hand and hold for three, two, elbow, return to your back. We have one more time through. Hip extension, elbow, find your hand. Next, we'll bridge our hips and sweep, hold. In this tripod or windmill position for three, two, sweep back through, find the elbow, return to the backside, two hands, pull the bell down and cuddle. Let that bell go, let's spin around and repeat on the other side. Starting, as usual, in the cuddle. So from there, rolling to your back, pressing that bell. Check in, your wrist is straight, off arms out to the side, heavy on the floor. Hip drive, pull to elbow hold. Three, two, return to your back. Next time, to the elbow, to the hand. Bottom shoulder packed, looking at your bell. Return to the hand, elbow, sorry. Return to your back. One last time. Elbow, hand, a bridge and a sweep. Hold, three, two, sweep, elbow, and to your back. Pull the bell down, return it to the floor. Stand up, but don't put your hands down. 
<sighs> Good job. Let's warm up those single legs. Standing on a single leg, the first thing we'll do here is we'll pull that other leg up. Then we'll press our knee towards over our toe. Next, we'll tilt those hips and sink them back as low as you can go, keeping that other knee up, 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 and then drive the hips through to tall. Let's repeat, knee towards over toe. Tip the hips, reach into your imaginary chair, hold. Lift this leg, press to tall. One last time for number three. Knee towards over toe, tip, sit back, hold, and drive through, extend. Shake it out, repeat on the other side. Foot gripping the floor, other leg up, hips are level. Knee towards over toe, sink back, hold, keep this leg up, drive through, squeeze the butt cheek. Repeat, knee, tip, sit, hold. Press through to tall. One last time, knee to over toe. Sit back, hold, and then extend through and place both legs down. Great. We will be doing a similar pattern of that get up, but from the top down. So what that means here is we've been working week by week, adding on to our get up, breaking it down. We're on week four here. We'll take our belt to the rack position. We'll press it overhead. We'll do a lunge, come back up. Then we'll do a lunge step, come back up, and then we'll end with our rotation or our windmill. Standing over top of your bell, cheek clean to rack. Press kettlebell. Leg you can touch, we'll step back. Pause at the bottom of your lunge position for a second, level hips, both legs help you up. Repeat, step back, lunge. Front leg's gonna open, hold. Front leg will return to center, press to tall. One more pattern, step back, open, rotate, hinge. Stack the shoulders, wrists are straight. Press the floor away, extending the hips, front foot, both legs up, pull your bell down with control. Two hands, part kettlebell. Breathe, repeat on that second side. Cheek clean to the rack, press. Leg you can touch, step back lunge, control the down, scissoring the hips together, pushing forward and back to stand up tall. Adding on, step back, pull the floor together. Open foot, hold, then bring it back to center and up. Core stability there. Step back, lunge. Front foot opens. Rotate, hinge on hip. Stacking shoulders for three, two. Press the floor away. Front foot moves. Both legs help you. Control the pull down and park the bell. Hmm. Nice moves. Adding on to our single leg. Find your space, plant a foot, peel a foot up, knee towards over toe. Sit the hips back into your chair, hold. Straighten this leg, then bend it, press to tall. Let's repeat, knee towards over toe. Tip, sit back, hold it here, straighten, bend, and up. That's tricky. One last time. Knee, sit back, straighten, Woo. and press through. Who invented that? Give it a little shake out. Same thing on that second leg. Find your foot rooted into the floor right away. Knee towards over toe, hip sit back, straighten, hold, bend, and up. As we do this, we either have that dorsiflex foot or the ballet point. Pick one, don't be in between them. Last one here, knee, sit back, straighten, in and up. Whew. All right, one more get up here. Let's do a full get up, starting on the ground, all the way up, all the way back down. Get the weight out you would like to work with. Let's come to the floor. 
Oh, little ankle squat down. Find your cuddle position here. Roll to your back and press. Here we go. One full get up, up each move, independent from the last. Taking your time, breathing, and up, and then pattern that back down. As we rotate and hinge, we start looking at that bell again. Always stacking the shoulders before the sweep, elbow, and back. Pull the bell down, return to the cuddle. <clears throat> Take a second off. Repeat on that second side. One more get up for now. From the cuddle to the roll in the press. Hip extends, pull. Find the hand. Bridge, sweep. Hand leaves four. Wing, front foot moves, lunge back up. Control that down, Lauren. Front foot opens, rotate and hinge. Remember to stack, then sweep. Elbow away from the elbow to your back. Pull the bell down. You know the rules, no hands. Stand up. One more time in our single leg squats. Let's try to put that extended leg together into two versions of your pistol squat. So it's only as low as you can go, being able to get back up out of it. What that means is our feet is planted. We'll take that off leg and we'll extend it right away. Knee towards over toe. Sit back as low as you can go, but be able to hop back up one more time, same leg. Knee, get that ankle working, hip, and then hop. A hip, hop. Same thing on the second side. Other leg up, extend. Knee, then reach back, hold, up to tall. One last time. Chest stays lifted, breathe. Great, shake that out. All right, we've been working on our single arm swings as well over the course of the last four weeks. Today we're going to return to not only, but only five on each hand for five rounds. Why we're doing that is because in the drill after that, that we finish with, we're going to add some swings into our little get up squat routine today. So all you need to know right now We'll warm up our single arm swings. You could also do this with two hands, no problem. Let's start with one set on each side. Hike passes for two. One, two. Two stop swings. One, park the bell. Two, park the bell. And then two continuous swings. Same arm, repeat on the other side. Set up behind your bell, hip hinge, grip. Two hike passes, pull, park. Pull, park, two stop swings, pull, swing, through, stop, repeat. And now two continuous swings, pull, swing, swing, park. Nice. At the top of that swing, we had our cheeks squeezed, the shoulder, or sorry, the arm at the shoulder level or chest height, abs braced, abs stopped us at the top, not that lean back. Same thing, second side. Hike passes, one, pull, and two. Two stop swings, pull, swing, through, park, repeat. Now, two continuous, pull, swing, swing, park. Great. All right, five swings on my right hand equal amount of time off. Five swings on my left hand, equal amount of time off. Repeat five times. Get the bell that you feel is appropriate for you. Place it where you'd like it. Stand behind your bell. Adjust what you need. Get set up. First round, five single arm swings in three continuous. Two. Here we go, five, 
Park. Up, a little break. About 10 seconds off. So it takes about 10 seconds to swing five. Take about 10 seconds off. Three, two, five. Second arm. Breathing. Staying loose in between, shaking out the grip, shaking out the legs. Round two, three, two, five. First arm. As we swing here, swing number one should be just as strong as swing number five. If we're losing that power, decrease the reps. Three, two, second arm. Those stop swings help us prepare that hinge, making sure you're hinging on every swing. Number three, here we go. Back. Breathe. Then out the nose. Fill up breath, ribs, lungs. Three, two, second hand. That was round three of five. Sometimes I have to remember at the top of the swing, see that shoulder retracted. Keep it back. Three, two, five. As we hinge here and as those hips come through, that's where the power comes from. Back here. Make sure you're matching that strong exhale with the hip snap. Three, two, second arm. I got excited punching myself. Retracted shoulder. So many things to think about. Pick one, maybe two. We have one more round. Three, two, first arm, five. Park. Then note the nose. Fill. Last set. Five. Here we go. Three, two, hike. Park. Let's put the bell down. Close our mouth. Open our nostrils. Take a nice breath in. Nice exhale. Repeat, breath in and exhale. Repeat, in and exhale. Continue that for four more. In, exhale. In, exhale. Two more. And out. One more. And out. Let's add on for a round. In for four. Hold, four, exhale for four. In again for four, hold for four. In more for four, exhale for four. One more round, it's tough, in for four. Hold four, in more, exhale. The hardest part, hold empty for four. Three, two, relax. Whew. I'll get ya. Take a couple extra breaths. Try to relax. Great job. This was my heavy bell for swinging. I'm going to bell down a bit. So one bell down for me, you choose. This is going to be the routine. We will start on the floor. Do a get up. 
all the way up to standing. This is what we've been working on. The past three weeks, we've pulled the bell down and done a squat. This week, we're gonna pull the bell down. We're gonna do one swing, whoom, one clean, whoom, one squat, whoop. Press, get up back to the floor. Repeat on the other side. Singles of each for now. Let's try to do four rounds of this or two each side. I know, it sounds like a great idea, doesn't it? Okay, come on down. With a drill like this, it means you're going to be underneath your bell for probably 45 seconds up to a minute. So pick a bell that you feel comfortable holding for that long. Here we go. I'd recommend starting a bit light. You can always add weight. That always feels better on the ego than having to take away some weight. So from the cuddle to the press, here we go. We get up by using our get up elbow, hand, bridge, sweep, press the floor away, lunge. Once we're tall, pull down to the rack, one swing, through, swing, through, clean, squat. One, hoop, adjust your stance, press. Leg you can touch, we'll drop back, open up, rotate and hinge, sweep, elbow. Now let's press away from the elbow. Always control that last move. Try not to just roll out of your get up after all that work you did. Hmm. Breathing, how'd that feel? Good, I thought so too. Let's do the same thing on the other side. From the cuddle, roll, press. Here we go, all the way up, one move at a time. Bridge sweep, pressing away, front foot up. So first, pull to the rack position. A swing, then a clean. A swing, a clean, a squat, and up. Then a press. Get up, down. Step back, step, rotate, hinge, sweep, elbow, back, pull down, return. Nice work. One more time each side. Maybe one was nice for you. One swing, one clean, one squat. If you'd like to, I'm gonna try doing two this time. I'll do it like this, two swings, two cleans, two squats. Whatever you choose, we always start from the floor in the cuddle. Cuddle, roll, press, here we go. Elbow, hand, bridge sweep, extended, looking forward in that lunge, pulling the bell down first to the rack position. So if you're with me, two swings. One, two, two cleans. One, two, two squats. Elbow stays in tight, pull yourself down, press up. Pull down, press up. I adjust my stance to press. <sighs> Spending some more time under this weight this round. Take your time on the down. Breathe. Control. Pull down and park. Nice work. That was great. Now we have to do the same thing on that second side. Belt's feeling good, feeling strong underneath that load. A little bit of work, but definitely doable, which is what we like in our workouts. Success. Here we go. Cuddle, roll, press. Hip drive, pull. Hand, bridge, sweep. Floor press away. Front foot, up to the rack first. Control the down. Two swings, one, two, two cleans. One, both hips come through. Two, two squats. 
pull, adjust, press, get up down, front foot, rotate hinge, sweep, elbow, and control to your back. Pull that bell down, place it on the floor, stand up, try no hands again, however you'd like to come to standing. That felt good, didn't it? Yes, all right. One little thing to finish up here. One set on each side without the get up. We'll pattern it for three. Three swings, three cleans, three squats, each side, done. Great, setting up behind your bell, nice and square. First arm, three clean, three, sorry, swings. Hinge, grip, three. Now three cleans, rack, through, rack again. Two, one more, hold it here, three squats. Pull down, press up. We're coming down even between two legs. We're keeping the elbow in nice and tight. Once we're done, through, place the bell down. A couple breaths, a couple seconds off. Give the grips a little shake, the legs, the ankles. Stay loose in between your drills. You want that tension, then you want your relaxation to recover. Last routine here, second side, threes. Here we go, swing, one, two, three, three cleans, one. Imagine you're in an alleyway here, keeping the clean nice and close to your body, and zip, three squats. Elbow in, one more, park that bell, place it down, nice breath in, nice exhale, repeat again, inhale, and exhale, last time, Whew. that was wonderful, great, let's finish. In everyone's favorite, least favorite, splits. Come on down to the floor. Breathe, take your time. Sitting in your V-like position here. Let's either have our feet pointed or our feet flexed. Thinking about how your hips are sitting, that anterior tip of the hips meaning tailbone towards the ceiling, which might mean you have to scooch the butt cheeks out of the way a little bit to get that tip in the hips. Breathe. Sometimes as I sit here, I just like to slide a little bit side to side, maybe pointing the feet and then flexing the feet and point again. Now, can you rotate both those legs open trying to keep those inseams towards the ceiling? Keep one rotated open and then gently try to internally rotate the other femur leg. Rotate it open, other side. Internally rotating or hiding that inseam and then open it back up. Let's try to open both. See if you have a little bit oh, more room. And then last thing here, we'll do our light hinge forward. Breathing, take your time. Then push the floor away, extending. Bring those legs together. <sighs> what a solid workout. Thanks for joining me today. This is week four of our strength, strength and swings routine, where we build on our skills week by week. Who knows what's gonna happen at the end of these six weeks. You'll have to stay tuned. Thanks for joining, my name is Lauren, this is Bars and Bells. On Thursday, we do our bar workout, where we improve our hip, mobility, leg, core, strength, so you can do this, as well as this. Both things are great. Until then, take care, stay strong, and I'll train with you soon. Goodbye.